Welcome to my channel. This time, I will be showing you solutions on the problems about simple stress under strength of materials. But before that, let us first have our shout out. Shout out to Daryl Mamaspas from Isabella State University. Also, shout out to Gerardo Gallopin Jr. Please continue supporting my channel. If you want to be in my shout out, just comment in any of my videos. In this video, we will be solving this problem. Determine the largest weight, W, which can be supported by the two wires shown in the figure. The stresses in wires AB and AC are not Q to exceed 100 MPa and 150 MPa, respectively. The cross-sectional area of the two wires are 400 square millimeters for wire AB and 200 square millimeters for wire AC. The first thing to identify are the given, which are the following. Stress at AB is equal to 100 MPa, stress at AC is equal to 150 MPa, cross-sectional area at AB is equal to 400 square millimeters, and cross-sectional area at AC is 200 square millimeters. After identifying our given, we have to construct first our free body diagram for us to see clearly the forces acting on the wire. We have force AC with an inclination on the x-axis of 45 degrees. Next, we have force AB, with an inclination of 30 degrees on the x-axis. Lastly, we have force W. After identifying our free body diagram, we can now have our summation of forces. We begin with the summation of forces horizontally, or forces with respect to x-axis. We have summation of forces at x is equal to zero take note that forces directed to the right is positive we have negative a b cosine 30 plus a c cosine 45 is equal to zero let us make this our equation one next we get the summation of forces acting on the y-axis or forces vertically we have summation of forces at y-axis is equal to zero Take note that forces directed upward is positive. We now have, AB sine 30 plus AC sine 45 minus W, is equal to zero. This will be our equation 2. After having our equation 1 and 2, we will use this to solve for the weight at AC and AB. We begin with solving the value of weight at AB. We begin with isolating AB from equation 1. We simply transpose AC cosine 45 to the right side. We now have, negative AB cosine 30 is equal to negative AC cosine 45. We multiply both sides with negative 1, and we have, AB cosine 30 is equal to AC cosine 45. We divide both sides with cosine 30, and we have, AB is equal to AC cosine 45 all over cosine 30. After isolating AB, we will substitute this in the equation 2. So we have, AC cosine 45 all over cosine 30, multiplied to sine 30, plus AC dyne 45 minus W, is equal to 0. With these equation, we transpose W on the right side, and we have, W is equal to AC cosine 45 all over cosine 30, multiplied to sine 30, plus AC sine 45. We extract AC from the right side, and we have AC multiplied to cosine 45 multiplied to sine 30 all over cosine 30, this is just the same as cosine 45 all over cosine 30 multiplied to sine 30, plus sin 45. In trigonometric function, sine all over cosine is equal to tangent. With this, we have, W is equal to AC multiplied to cosine 45 tangent 30, plus sine 45. To solve for the load at AC, we divide both sides with cosine 45 tangent 30, plus sine 45. And we have, AC is equal to W all over cosine 45 tangent 30, plus sine 45. This will be our equation to use in solving load at AC. We know that the formula for stress is load divided by the cross-sectional area. We will now solve for the value of weight carried by wire AC. And we have, stress at AC, is equal to load at AC, 
symbolized by PAC, all over cross-sectional area at AC. We simply substitute the values and we have, stress at AC of 150 megapascals, equals the load at AC, which we solved while ago which is, W all over, cosine 45 tangent 30, plus sine 45, divided by the cross-sectional area of 200 square millimeter. We cross multiply to obtain the value of the weight in AC, and we have, W all over cosine 45 tangent 30, plus sine 45, is equal to the product of 150 megapascals and 200 square millimeter. Again, we cross multiply, and we have, W is equal to 150 megapascals times 200 square millimeter, multiplied to cosine 45 tangent 30, plus sine 45. With this formula, we have to convert our MPA unit to Newton per square meter, we will use the conversion factor of 1 megapascal is equal to 1 million Newton per square meter. At the same time, we will convert our square millimeter unit to square meter unit. We will use the conversion factor, 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. We will square it to obtain the square meter unit. We now have a final formula for our weight at AC is, 150 megapascals times 1 million Newton per square meter, multiplied to 200 millimeter square times 1 meter all over 1000 millimeter square, multiplied to cosine 45 tangent 30, plus sine 45. We simply solve and we have, 30,000 Newton multiplied to 1.1154 which is equal to 33,462 Newton. That is now the value of weight carried by wire AC. Now, we proceed in solving the weight carried by wire AB. To begin with, we will isolate AC from our equation 1 which we derived a while ago. Now, we transpose negative AB cosine 30 on the right side. And we have, AC cosine 45 is equal to AB cosine 30. We divide both sides with cosine 45, and we have AC is equal to AB cosine 30 all over cosine 45. With this equation of AC, we will substitute it to the equation 2. And we have, AB sine 30 plus AB cosine 30 all over cosine 45, multiplied to sine 45, minus W equals 0. With this equation, we transpose AB sine 30 plus AB cosine 30 all over cosine 45, multiplied to sine 45 to the right side. And we have the formula for W to be W, is equal to AB sine 30 plus AB cosine 30 all over cosine 45, multiplied to sine 45. On the right side, we extract AB. And we have, W is equal to AB multiplied to sine 30 plus cosine 30 all over cosine 45 multiplied to sine 45. This is just the same as W, is equal to AB multiplied to sine 30 plus sine 45 all over cosine 45 multiplied to cosine 30. We know that sine all over cosine is tangent. And we have W is equal to AB multiplied to sine 30 plus tangent 45 cosine 30. We divide both sides with sine 30 plus tangent 45 cosine 30. And we have a formula for load at AB of, AB is equal to W all over sine 30 plus tangent 45 cosine 30. After getting this formula for load, we can proceed in solving the weight carried by wire AB. We will use the formula for stress which is stress is equal to load divided by cross-sectional area. And we have, Stress at AB is equal to the load at AB all over cross-sectional area at AB. We simply substitute the values and we have, stress at AB of 100 megapascals, is equal to the load at AB of W divided by sine 30 plus tangent 45 cosine 30, all over, the cross-sectional area of AB which is 400 square millimeter. We cross-multiply, and we have, W divided by sine 30 plus tangent 45 cosine 30 is equal to 100 megapascals multiplied to 400 square millimeter. We again cross multiply to get the value of weight at AB. 
and we have weight at AB is equal to 100 megapascals multiplied to 400 square millimeter, multiplied to sine 30 plus tangent 45 cosine 30. With this formula, we have to convert our MPA unit to Newton per square meter, we will use the conversion factor of 1 megapascal is equal to 1 million Newton per square meter. At the same time, we will convert our square millimeter unit to square meter unit. We will use the conversion factor, 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. We will square it to obtain the square meter unit. We now have a final formula for our weight at AB of 100 megapascals multiplied to 1 million newton per square meter, multiplied to 400 square millimeter, times the square of 1 all over 1000, multiplied to sine 30 plus tangent 45 cosine 30. We simply solve and we have, 40,000 newton multiplied to 1.366 which is equal to 54,640 newton. That is now the value for our weight at wire AB. The next step is to choose between the value of weight at AB or the weight at AC. The final answer is 33,462 newton. It will be the safest weight because if it will be made greater, it will exceed the allowable stress at AC which is 150 megapascals. That is now the solution for our problem. Please subscribe before you exit.